Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I want to welcome back my man Dan after, man, oh. it's been a six-month hiatus, hasn't Something it? Something like that. You took way too long. <laughs> and he says, there's a racket out there. There's an old racket out there that can compete with modern rackets that's made out of aluminum? Aluminum. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, my man Dan. We're oh, you've been nursing a couple ailments. So I had uh, plantar fasciitis mm. in my in my foot, and I think I was just, you know, you play once or twice a day, every day, and uh, I overdid it, cooked cooked my foot, oh. and so I I learned a lot about um, the right socks and the right shoes and the right exercises, but you basically have to give it rest. So it feels good now. I can go two three hours. Oh, good. Uh, on the court. And, every and, day? Uh, I haven't tried every day. I, I've learned not to, to push my luck anymore. Okay. You think you're invincible, you know, and then you hit 65 and go, wait a minute. Uh, I still think I'm 17. Well, you look good and welcome Thank back. Thank you. Feel so good. so during your time off, um, I've been giving you strings and you've been testing out a bunch of stuff for me. Uh, you took this particular old Yonix racket in which I thought somebody ran it over with a bicycle or something. Or a and, truck. <laughs> or something. And, yeah. and you said, this can compete with a modern day racket. And I'm like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you have to explain Dan, that one. Dan, Dan must have been smoking something <laughs> in his time off. So uh, you had a box of stuff, and I pulled out some things that, that were kind of intriguing. Uh, you know, this old head that looks kind of like an Arthur Ashe. And I mm -hmm. strung it up, and uh, this thing just was just no sweet spot, lots of vibration, way too flexy. I, I strung this one up with some print synthetic gut, reasonably tight, uh, took it out, and was just shocked. It's mm. it's one of the only old rackets I've tried. It's from 1980. It's called a, a, a Yonix R1 OPS. And this particular racket was missing the sticker. They came with a sticker. And I think that was to tell people that this was not run over by a car. They actually made it that way on purpose, <laughs> yeah. and it stands for oval pressed shaft. And I um, strung it up and took it out and hit with it, and it's it's stiff, it's accurate, it's razor sharp accurate. It's got nice power, nice balance, and uh, I was so amazed. I told Harry, I said, "This is a, the real deal." And uh, so I did a little research on on Yonex, and they started off with a a motor that made floats, the wooden floats for fishing nets. Mm -hmm. And uh, their, their factory burned down, and they got um, uh, pushed aside by advancing technology. So they started making the floats out of plastic. And they vowed never to fall behind on innovation again as a company. And so mm -hmm. all the things they made, they wanted to push the envelope on innovation. And this bad boy here uh, is, is really creative. So they made wooden tennis rackets. Uh, here's Martina hitting with a uh, Yonex racket back in the day. Oh. Billie Jean King used yeah. one. And so Yonex got a big, uh, big push. So, so the other thing I found was the original ad for the, the Yonex R1 OPS, and they talk about the isometric shape of the racket, which increases the sweet spot. So by, by opening it up here, they say the sweet spot opens up like that. And so they were, they were very innovative. That isometric shape exists to this day. If you look at a, you know, a racket like that or a racket like that, they all have that isometric shape, and that's from 1980. That's a long time. Yeah, the, so that's an innovation that's really uh, held its ground. And that kind of, that shape has kind of changed a bit yeah. over time. Yeah. It's gotten sometimes more, and then some. Now, it's a, in this day, it's a little less. It's a little more teardrop down here. Yeah. But they basically have almost two isometric shapes: one spreading it here, and one spreading it mm -hmm. here. So that's pulling that sweet spot out like that. This one, it's a little bit here and nothing here. Mm -hmm. So this one has, for its small head size, a really nice sweet spot. Yep. You can see it sticking out here yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Yep. It's a cool racket. Yep. Thank you, Harry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when we went to the Yonex showroom, they actually showcased this particular motor that it all kind of started with the motor. The company did. And, um, and I didn't tell my man Dan about this and he pulled up the history like Yonex basically prides themselves on it all starting with 
this motor. So pretty cool, Dan. All right. Um, so I have actually never hit with this rocket. It was in my stash that uh, my buddy Pete Allen um, kind of gave me in his retirement. I actually never thought about even using this racket. I just had a you know box of rackets. I was like, Dan, try these out. Let me know if we got any gems. He immediately went here. So this you'd never, is my you'd, you'd never you'd never possibly be able to get through and try all those rackets you had in that <laughs> box. You also had that McGregor. Uh, <laughs> octagonal racket with a string adjustable tension yes. screw in the, yes. the handle. Yes, I yes, still yes. have that one. Uh, but let's, let me go ahead with it now. Let's see what, what, uh, let's try what it, it feels like. All right, so my man Dan, the science man, was correct. This is stiff. This can compete with a modern racket. I'm gonna show you one quick thing that I noticed immediately. A, a flexible racket would not be able to pick this ball up. That says this racket is stiff. Yeah, I, I, always, I always go like this to, to see how far I can bend it. And actually, this thing doesn't really bend any more than a modern racket. It's got an RA of probably about 63, is my guess, from this. So it's uh, it, it's surprising. The only thing it doesn't do is if you get it up here too too far up here, Yeah. it, it doesn't get a lot, of, a lot of power right off the top, but everywhere else. Yeah, I did notice that. I was thinking that because this was like flattened, that it would be flexing over here, no, but it didn't. I know. I know, I would think that too. And then the other thing is this plastic thing tells me that it's aluminum. Obviously it is aluminum. I'm not sure what grade of aluminum this is. Oh, this is a stiff de aluminum. definitely a hardened, you know, Ford 10 or whatever they call that stuff. It's just, they made it hard. And I love the way they just throw in a couple of Phillips wood screws in here and a couple of rivets, you know, they're sitting there putting this together back in the day and no one had done this before, so they're like, Hey Bob, what are we? How are we gonna get that in there? I don't know. Here's some some wood screws. But it's amazing. It is amazing. I was off the first hit. I was like, ping, ping. So my man Dan is right though. I I, I do tend to hit a little high on the sweet spot, and when I did that, it went straight into the ground. It, yeah. it didn't give me anything. So I had to actually alter my you know where I struck the ball into more of the middle to uh, get what I needed to. But once you did, it hammered the ball. So Harry was talking about the flex of this racket and picking up a ball. This is another thing we pulled out of the box and it was really difficult. I could actually probably break this racket. It has so much flex. So let's try the pickup test. Yeah, barely, it's, it's tough. So back in the day, this is kind of what, what they had. This isn't too bad, it's not too heavy. You know, this is kind of like the Arthur Ashe Head Competition, which is a very popular racket. This is vastly superior, if you go back to 1980 and pull that out. 1980, man, I wonder if Martina used this. She used a similar racket. Okay. Yeah, and so did Billie Jean King. No yeah. wonder they were superior. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of this racket. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my man Dan, thank you so much for uh, discovering this find that was literally sitting in a, a box of a bunch of old rackets. Yeah, I just pulled that out and said, that looks interesting. Man, that's crazy. I got lucky. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, I bud. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank Here, you. I'll trade you. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the yo-yo. It's a little different. Yeah. The Ys are more defined. That's an old uh, logo. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you, my man thank Dan. You. Appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate you. Guys, thank you for watching. And we tennis appreciate spin, you. <laughs> where we put our spin on your tennis. Sky, great playing today, man. Thanks. Good hitting. Oh, thank you. My arm doesn't feel right. Uh oh. Interesting. I got something. Hang on, hang on.
See? I don't feel a thing. Wow, my arm doesn't feel a thing. It feels great. See? I told you. All right, Harry, one more shot. I'm gonna go real big. 